Maybe Spirit's trying to tell me something. Do the rest of them. Yeah. Right, as I said earlier, sweetheart, this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, and just to briefly recap, I asked if you were looking after yourself, which you tell me you are, to the best of your capabilities. I also sensed that there was somebody around you who was a little bit uptight and stressed, and it was drawn more to the family matters, although you said there was two directions in which you were going. And I have concentrated on the family side, i.e. mom, and obviously what we talked about with regard to getting the a little bit off her chest, okay? I also asked you about putting brain into gear before opening mouth, and you've reassured me that you don't do that anymore. You're a good boy. <laughs> but nevertheless, what we see is what we get with you, darling. And you, you are, you know, you are your man. Nobody's gonna turn you. Your, your, your thoughts are very, very much on the, this is me, so don't try to turn me, okay? So I come back to this one, which is where it went, do lally, that you don't listen to your intuitions both from a physical point of view and from a spiritual point of view because I've got my scarab beetle here which is the protector from the spirit world mm. I'm sure if you know anything about Egyptology the scarab beetle was very very sacred and it was a protector okay do you sometimes find that you get that feeling that there's somebody stood behind you and when you turn around there's nobody there mm. Not literally, but I know what you mean, but not quite exactly what you mean, not behind me. So. But do you, do you, okay, let's put it a different way, because yeah, yeah. usually they come from behind, but do you sometimes find, for example, you can be in bed and, and you can ha be having a lovely sleep and then all of a sudden you wake up and you think there's somebody else in the room, um, but there isn't. A man to, a man to us tends to work as, say, say for example, like, this has got a good context for it, they come walking about, then the things tend to, I got maybe something catches my eye, or I tend to turn a certain way, or maybe I'm walking about, and for some reason I turn this way, what we realize and why, and then I get directed to certain things. Good. It sort of works like that, and I got, and as if I get, I get a lot of vision clues, like, I, I, even I've walked down, I remember going down the street, see a billboard, and I see like a phrase, obviously the phrase is it, like, but then, out of context, but I can sort of connect to some part of what it says out of context. Excellent. To the build, uh, it tends to, those type of things tend to... So you're, 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 connect, yeah. you're connecting nicely with the spirit world, which yeah, so they're pleased about. But so. it's, it's, it's kind of like a... Because everybody's different, but it's kind of like a, it's like a way... It's like, it's like the, the way of communication that seems to work. That sort of... Like, do, do, so do you yeah. find that when you sometimes see that or, or sense that, mm. it, it helps you to focus on what you're actually doing physically yeah. in, in your life at that moment in time? Is, is it like swaying you to make the right decisions? Yeah, well, sometimes uh, maybe you assume it, so I'll maybe just, yeah, yeah. Carry on doing that yeah. because that's what that card is there for. Yeah. Because although sometimes you do ignore it, because sometimes you, you, you don't always listen to that little voice in your head. And it doesn't mean to say that you do lolly because there's a voice in your head. It's because that's the way they communicate with yeah, us. Yeah. Okay. So... It's the other... So I'm going to no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. But the other thing, obviously... Uh, obviously, this world has got different point of views, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, recently I've been listening to a lot of... Um, because I'm trying to be objective, I'm trying to, you know, I believe in trying to get things from, but everybody's got something right. So when it, so, so there's a lot of, uh, I don't know if I've been, like, YouTube and that, but we've got a lot of, um, scepticism, those type of, like, ideas and, um, the critical, the you know, rational thinking and that kind of thing. So that's sort of, it's a balance here. I'm trying to keep the balance between the two. Right. And sometimes they're both kind of, sort of, for possession a little bit. It's very, it's very yeah. difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult to sh to shed our biological body yeah. and think of things in a totally different context, yeah. i.e., spiritual, yeah. i.e., the spirit within. Yeah. And because there are so many people out there who who poo poo what we're talking about or what we're doing, and yeah. that be quite blunt, ghosts don't exist, but yes they do, because I personally have seen them, and I think you too have seen them, but because of you who, who you are at this moment in time, and because of the influences that are going off around you, you you're, you're sitting on the fence nicely, whereas if you actually 
truly looked at it and said, mm -hmm. yes, I did see a ghost and I am going to say that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and bugger what anybody else has said because I know what I... So don't be afraid to... When you, when you so you mm. feel that, don't be afraid to say so. Mm. Even though friends or people around you may say, no, you, you're talking a yeah. lot of rubbish. Oops. And with all due respect, yeah. you, YouTube is a great tool if it's mm. used wisely. Yeah, as, as kind of, as, anyway, anyway. But it's, 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 it's your generation's yeah, no, it's media, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not personally mine, but yeah, it's yeah. your... Mm. So consequently, you will find there's a lot of skepticism going off out mm. there. Um, it's generally because what what happens is it gets fairly polarised. We get the extremists on both sides, and then there's very little input from people who are sitting in the middle. So they get so they, they end up fighting off each, bouncing off each other, and they never get anywhere because they, they can't go towards the middle and try and see things more. So why don't you become the middleman? <laughs> You have, you have, you have the knowledge. You have the gift. You can do it. You can put your points of view over onto onto that piece of equipment, and you can say to the, to those that are that end of the spectrum, you know, you've gone too far. With all due respect, let's look at it in the real context. And you who are down here, who are poo pooing everything, you know, come on, open up your your minds. And if you seriously think about it, you know, maybe you too have experienced something, but you're afraid to say so for what other people might say around you. Yeah. you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. See, you have a good opportunity there. Yeah. And you could even get yourself a bit of notoriety and earn <laughs> yourself a little bit of cash. Yeah. Because people might say, who is this guy? Let's, let's contact him. And you can even put, start to put your point of view across. Yeah. Do, you, do you like talking to people? You do, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, um, I've got different parts of me. There's Sometimes I obviously like to be alone, that to be alone, so, natural. Yeah. Which is quite natural. Yeah. Even I like my own time. Mm. But there are times when, like I'm here now, and I enjoy talking to people, mm. you yeah. know, but whether it be professionally or otherwise. Yeah. The other thing is, I mean, I do feel the, 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 the sceptical side of doing some points and such that they, I feel that sometimes people on the more spiritual side, sometimes that they, they, they maybe get carried away, like, they sort of things, I mean, I do a lot of things to have benefits though, of the, the fantasy people do have benefits, but then I think there's sometimes there's assumptions made about where the benefit where things are coming from. People assume that oh this is X or Y and it's rather My mm. my literary my literary mm. my literature mm. my teacher mm. always used to say never assume anything. Mm. And there are a lot of people out there doing exactly what you've just said. Mm. Because the reason is it makes an ass of you and me. Mm. Think about that. Mm. A double S U M E. Mm. Assume. Makes an ass of you and me. Mm. So consequently, we need to stop people assu assuming and be more positive. Mm. Right? And when, even when you're talking to people, don't be afraid, nicely to be strong when you have your convictions to, to put your point of view across yeah. because people will respect you more it's 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 no good assuming that they would agree with you it's no good you assuming that you know you agree with them do you see where I'm coming from yeah. so you do, you do need to stand stand your ground and be and be be good with your thoughts yeah. mm. This is a very confusing reading. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I know. No, it's fine. I love it. It's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge. It's just, the thing is, that, um, I know because I, I really took, I really took, took the off. Because right. um, I know they, um, there's a lot of people say they, it's, they were talking about ghosts, and then uh, when people say, say, for example, they do a meditation and, they, and during the meditation they contact angels. So during that meditation, they you know, so speak to angels, but when they get out of it, I mean, that doesn't, still doesn't work as proof that angels exist, but obviously as a practice and as a connection, it, I mean, the thing, you know, it's benefits to be very from it, but then there's still a little bit of, you can go a bit... That, yeah. That's exactly what you've just said, isn't it? People go from one extreme to the yeah. other. In, medi in meditation, mm. when your subconscious mind is, is mm. open to the spirit elements, let's put it that way, mm -hmm. right? If you, if you feel, mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about you personally, but if that particular person who is meditating at that moment in time mm -hmm. senses that there is 
in inverted commas, an angel around them, mm. then that's fine because that's what they perceive spirit energy to be. Mm. Right? You could be in another beautiful place and you can meet people that you've met in the past who are no longer with us. Mm. Granda, grandma, you could actually meet those sort of people in meditation. But they're not ghosts because they're, they're, yeah. their being is a spiritual being. Mm. When you go into meditation, you can just go to a happy place and just come out of it feeling totally and utterly relaxed because you've had a fantastic journey. Mm. It's how you perceive at that moment in time what you're seeing, what you're viewing and how you're interacting with that particular mm. scenario. Mm. It's like reading a book really, mm. if you think about it. Um, I just say, I know I'm, I'm, being, I'm being modern again. I see uh, my, my, my um, analogy is more like playing a game. Like when you're doing the game, like you, you absorb the reality of the game, and at a certain point when you're playing the game, to a certain degree it is reality. But when you stop the game, then you go back to reality. Yeah, is that a, no. That's where I said mm. earlier you mm. have to differentiate from the physical being to the spiritual being. Mm -hmm. You've got a fantastic journey ahead of you. Oh boy, <laughs> I'd love to meet you in about 20 years time and see where you are. Oh boy, yes. Hmm. You, you. You have. I'm being told to tell you. You have a lot to offer. Both in your, in your in your current situation in in the way you talk to people, mm. and in your studying and. Um, the future to come, mm. right? Um, but you're also going to go on a spiritual journey. Mm. So the world is going to be your oyster, young man, in the next 10 years or so. Mm. And there's going to be a lot of changes coming your way as well. Mm. But if we briefly get back to the cards. Do I? <laughs> no, I just, I've done no, 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 no. no. Mm. Have you thought about going away on holiday next year, early part of next year? Um, don't think about it. I've been for a while. I've been contemplating it, and things happen, and I have I never I haven't been doing it. It's been a, I haven't been for three years, but there's usually a thing I like to do. I've never done again. Well, I th this is this is my travel card. Not yeah. only is it for your, for the journey of your soul, mm -hmm. but that also is telling me that that you you need to sort of plan a bit of a breakaway. Mm -hmm. Whether you go with friends or go on your own, mm. it will do, do you the world of good because it will rejuvenate your energies and, and get you up and, and running mm. for, for what's going to be coming your way. Mm. Are you looking after your finances? Um, <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I've had a bit of a hit recently because... Because I'm, see, I'm seeing it going out, coming back in mm. and going out. Although you've got food on your table, you are to a certain degree struggling a little bit. So we need to draw the horns in, not go mad with Christmas presents. Mm. Mum and Dad will understand, right? You tell them not to worry about you at Christmas either, because we're all in the same boat. Yes, it's nice to have a little something under the tree, but you are going to just have to watch your finances. Otherwise, you're going to end up not being able to do this, and you'll make yourself poorly over it. Mm. Yes? Yeah. So the old credit card needs to be just kept at bay for the yeah. time being. And that's something I knew, I knew anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I, had, I had a bit of a forced break, quite literally. <laughs> um, that sort of made me think. Uh, things, but so uh, it's just uh, recent events. It's kind of made a bit tight, isn't it? Right. Okay. The, well, the, 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 uh, the climate doesn't help. Yeah. Either. No, but I understand. Yeah. But just, just, just watch it a little, a little mm. bit. You know, but once you get into the new year, yeah. if you play your cards right, yeah. then obviously you can get that holiday away. And then when you come back, you're a totally rejuvenated person yeah. and you're ready to face whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. OK. You're not working at the moment. No. You are. Yeah. Have you not been in the job long? I'm talking like six, six, six months. Longer than that. Twelve months? Longer than that. Really? Yeah. So have you recently got promotion then? I think I know what I mean. No, I, I think I know what's getting at, but not, again, not really. But things have changed slightly and also uh, I, 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 I was off 
I was off for about a few weeks because so, right yeah. so do you work with your hands yeah um, yeah I'll see, yeah see you soon. getting electronics are you in like you're not into IT are you um I, I, was, I, did I mean, I know you like YouTube, but I mean, I, I mean, I did, I, I did study that. But then I, I moved away and then into other areas, and I, I've always been like lax of it. But it's not like it's not like my, my job as such. Um, so I'm. <laughs> so I'm trying not to. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to. Do, well, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I'm just getting. The, um, I think I, I, I do don't know what's going on. I know you don't, but I think I know the, the avenues. To get. They're being very vague with me, but I, but yeah. I know you do something with your hands, and yeah. it, it's, it's, it's. You're not a part-time DJ, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nope. But I know you do something with your hands. It's not just hands, actually. But I, I know why you're saying hands, but, uh, because it's having stats in my hands, and also I, I, I know the only reason why might be saying hands as well. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. We'll come back so, to that. So, so, we'll come so, back so, to that. Do, do you know, can, can you see what, what the right, I thought you like, I thought about certain what, can, can you pick up a direction of what they're trying to say, even though they can't actually pinpoint exactly what they're well, trying to say? Well, this, 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 to, this to me, obviously, obviously, you you use your you use your hands in what you're doing. Mm. You create a lot of energy in your hands as well. Yeah. The energy is good, but the energy could be used for a better purpose. Just. <laughs> So I'm being drawn back to this to, to listen to your intuitions. So mm. that that's saying you're good at what you do, mm. but could do better. Mm. So if an opportunity arises whereby you could, i.e., get promotion or change jobs, mm. then listen to that inner voice. Because mm. it's interesting to um, join. I don't, I'm not getting any machinery or anything, but but I'm I'm just I'm just getting this, and to do this with my hands, and it creates energy. <laughs> they move in weird ways. And I'm just, I mean, I, I mean, I work in like health and social care, so. Um, So, the, the, the then, then I, then, and I had a, like, then, like 15 weeks ago I broke my wrist, <laughs> so I was off a bit and came back. Mm. Was, that, was that one again? Mm. Or was that one again? Yeah, that's the health one. Right. So that's why I asked if you were looking after your health. Well, yes and no, I was trying, but then... So, yeah. Breaking the wrist is not... not, not, not. I mean, it's about both because you're trying to do one hand mm. and then... Um, so when you're using mm. when you're using your hands, are you are you actually physically working with the, with with the people that you're sent out to see and what have you? You you, you don't go into care homes and things like. Not you. So, so, so again. If if you're if you're into social services, do do, do you actually physically go in to see people? Because I don't see that being you. No, well, um, I mean a lot a lot of the past couple of years, I've done a lot of. Um, um, the community support. Right. So I mean, so a lot of one-to-one -one stuff and that. Hmm. But, but I, d I don't see you doing that for the rest of your life. No. No way. Mm. So that's why you create a lot of energy because when mm. you're talking to people, you're protecting yourself anyway, so that you don't get bombarded with with their issues. Mm. So you're protecting yourself. Mm. You drive. Yeah.
Have you done a Reiki course? No. Have you thought about doing a Reiki oh, course? Yes, yeah. I have seen it, tend to find about, but obviously it's difficult to get to find one, and also the money in it as well, time mm. and all that kind mm. of things. I suppose, and, but I don't know. What it's in. Because you you yeah. could you you can create a lot of energy, and because mm. doing by doing Reiki, you 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 can help with your hands. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, the the other the other I'm coming back to this the other person that's around you uh, let's take the mum out of the equation here the other person that's around you who's not so well have you ever tried putting your hands like over their head and, and trying to to ease the pain that they sometimes feel? Um, it took me to kind of have to you know, but I mean um, not not in our context really. You know what I mean? Hmm. Not by just doing. Um, but do do you try to help them with your hands? Um, something you have to do with the hands, and support. Um, I mean, it's part of the job. Um, but hmm. you know, there's so many different connotations, and it depends hmm. how you, how you personally can re can relate hmm. to those yeah. cards, really. It's also, um, no. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if it's going this direction, but I kind of feel they ask the question. See, you know how like sometimes you know when, when they I feel like you know when things are happening, and sometimes like, in the moment maybe like things seem a bit um, we go for a rough patch and things are a bit harder than you know when they, you know sometimes you got that, but sometimes maybe um, that that period is some is, is a way of sort of moving the. Different ways. So if something happens that appears bad, actually, it's really just trying to move you in a direction. It's sort of cleansing and, yeah. and, and, and taking yeah. you into yeah. a new direction, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think this part of me is concerned about um, certain things because I feel uh, about my moving on, of my, my, my general. So I'm trying to move in a certain direction, but. Um, Concerned about my progress because things are happening that I feel they might affect it. The, yeah. If we if we look if we're looking to the future with regard to, to the profession, yeah. until we have that break away, yeah. because then when you're totally chilled, yeah. you'll be able to see things in a, in a different light, yeah. and that way because you can, can I be referring to something that's something that happened, possibly. Because I've already, like, see, I've already had about nine, ten weeks that I had to do yeah. But did you feel at that point you, you were focused on, on where you wanted to go, on what direction you wanted to change to? Because well, if you I, didn't... I did, I, did, I, did, I did reassess quite a lot of things, actually. And have you put any of those into action? Because I'm sensing mm. you haven't. Um, That's why I keep that, but, yeah. coming back to that. Yeah. So if if you if you if you've written down in mm. your own way mm. the pluses and the minus to, to change direction in what you're mm. doing, if the pluses mm. are, are there against the minuses, then the time is right to be looking to change it. Mm. Yeah. The other thing is, though, I mean, um, when obviously maybe I, I look for other hands, but then the other things are there, or I try like, and then they. Um, I think when I am saying too much, but when I broke a wrist, I got a phone call because I've got my CV up online somewhere. And then I came back and I for an interview with a certain company, and then I, but they didn't, I didn't, I didn't, they didn't employ me. So I went, I might try, but then I'm not going to be moving anyway, even if I look. Right. So, that's the other thing. so what yeah. we need to do is yeah. spruce one CV up slightly, yeah. right? Um, look at what you already have down, yeah. and then. Just maybe check. I'm sure mm. you do. I'm sure you do it extremely well, but can do better. Mm. So it is the way how you present yourself, mm. both when you first make contact. Mm. I sometimes feel that when we do things these mm. days, everything is typed. Mm. We've lo we've lost the art of of how to communicate by writing. Mm. And I think if you were sending your CV off, although you've printed it off, right, mm. to have 
a handwritten note with it to say, please find enclosed my CV regarding what, 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 what job, yes? Mm -hmm. Sometimes people then see you, right, okay, this is a professionally created CV, but he's taken time out to actually write a little note. Mm -hmm. You may find my thoughts old fashioned, but I do sometimes think as a prospective employer, mm -hmm. it does look good when you first go to mm -hmm. HR. Oh, yeah, but that, it's not your CV problem, it's actually... Uh, <laughs> actually but, um, getting, to, getting to the interview stage. No, 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 because I'm usually, I usually all right getting to the... I'm usually, the interview stages, I usually get that, so... It's, so, it's, yeah, review, yeah. so review, why why are you... Re I mean, I mean you before, before uh, when I first like, finished college, so I better stick recently because of the... Uh, obviously got all these... Um, the climate and that as well, so just... So if you yeah, yeah. if you get a refusal for a job, yeah. obviously you get a letter that says, well, I'm very sorry, thank you for attending, but blah, blah, blah. Do you ever ring them up and say, can you give me some insights to why I didn't I, get the yeah, job? Do. Yeah, I do. You do? And what do they normally come back with? The, the, the calibre of in, of interviewee was extremely high and, you know... But the, last one, the last one I just sort of hinted towards what I said, um, I asked them and they emailed back saying, um, well, unfortunately at the time I was using my voice, which didn't help at all. And, and, and so they gave something about communication or something. I didn't feel I communicated my skills or something like that. And, and, and I sort of had a few issues of what I said at the time. But, I thought, but um, it's something along those lines. Mm. Mm. That comes back to, mm. to this then, mm. with regard to mm. putting this into a better context. I, th I think what you need to do, perhaps, is, is even to practice in front, I know it sounds silly, but practice in front of the mirror. Do an imaginary interview with somebody the other side of the mirror, right? And look at yourself and look at your body language and look at how you say things. Write a little list of, of, of questions you might possibly be asked at an interview and then ask the question through the mirror and then give it a reply. And then look at what you said and then maybe reassess how you said it or what you said. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Because I, 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 this comes back to this card here. Though, although you're not getting yourself into bother because you've opened it out without really understanding why you said what you said, yeah. but maybe it's the reason why you're not progressing any further is because with all due respect, you do speak extremely fast. Yeah. <laughs> So a little bit of slowing down, let people absorb what you're saying to them, is maybe something you should be practicing as well. Yes? Yeah? And I think then, the more you rehearse, before you go for an interview, the next time you may even get to the second interview stage or even be successful in getting the job. Just take a, it, it's come back to this, just, just take a little bit of time out and just listen to, to how you speak and, what, and how you portray yourself. Mm. Is there anything specific you'd like to ask me? Um, the only thing is, uh, I don't know, the feeling, the feeling I'm getting now is... Uh, um, it's actually an interesting shape. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> that kind of cut me off side, isn't it? Um, well, she, she, she's second in command. She brings out the feminine side of us. Don't take that the wrong way. But you can be, you can be, a, you can be a softy when you want. Yeah. yeah. Now, I just find the two soups here, that semicircle one there. Um, Did you used to doodle those as a child? Sorry? Did you used to doodle those as a child? Um, you know, when I used to do, I used to do, I used to do the now again now. I've, I've got certain kinds of draw. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have to draw. I don't know if I do a half circle or music to a sun. I tend to do the sun a lot. Um, but anyway, um, you know, I think there's so that and so that I can just, you know, you know, you put it uh, like, like a puzzle thing. And how they. Like, She's the mother of us yeah. all. There's, there's so, there's something, I don't know. <laughs> it'll come, when you play the CD back, you'll, 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 it'll come to you. No, why. no, 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 there's something about it. I, I, I just can't articulate it, but I know. Uh, um, no, see, I just feel the, the it's going to the direction of um, change or moving. 
I've got that person. The, there are some changes coming your way, yeah. but they're not going to happen until you've, you've had that yeah. break away. Whether you stay in this country or, or go yeah. elsewhere, it, it, yeah. it's just literally taking some time out to yeah. Yeah. bring your energies up. Yeah. Once you've done that, the finances and that will come into being yeah. because then you will have listened to your intuitions and managed to get this under control in yeah. the sense of being able to present yourself slightly more professionally yeah. and consequently then you will start to move up the ladder. Mm. Not going to happen overnight, but you will start to move up the ladder. But you've got to listen to your intuitions and you've got to start just to practice a little bit more before you go into the actual interview itself. And just slow mm. your things down. And get your point of view across and answer the questions that people fire at you. Because I do suspect that you don't just have it's not just a one-to-one -one interview in a lot of cases you probably have a two or three people you on a panel two, you normally two, you have a two to one two actually to one. Two to one. so consequently mm. you have two people barracking you nicely mm. and they sometimes mm. do that to take you off guard as well mm. see so just just practice and get mm. things sorted mm. yeah yeah no, no, so I'm no, no, it's fine. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to close off. Then. It's all right. So, 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 right, I, I got to know. No, just um, I mean, I mean, in terms of like the job when now, I got. This, I mean, I don't know if I've seen to 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 move over. If it's a possibility, I, I could stay for longer or not. I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, because I know this. The, the uh, end of the job is things are changing anyway, and things will sort of change in a certain context. When I, when I, when we were doing this business, when I said to you, have you um, been in the job long, we were talking about six months, then you said that you'd been off because of your wrist and what have you. So I do, I do sense there are some changes there and I do feel that it, that it, it is a step up the ladder, but you're not going to be in that particular job or in that particular environment for a for a long time. I mean, so, but that could, that could take, that could, that could change over for the next couple of years. So I mean, it's not going like, to happen. It's initially. not. It's, it, so I mean, I could still be in the job for the next year or two, and oh, then it took, as, you know, as far yeah. as I, as far as I yeah. see here, yeah, yeah. you have, you haven't to, to remain employed. If that's your question, yeah. you haven't got a problem. Yeah. But what you need to do is to be looking for a better position. Yeah. So if within where you're working at the moment, yeah. an opportunity arises, you yeah. should be seeking it out. Yeah. Right? You may not get it, but you should be seeking it out. Mm. But then in a couple of years time or so, maybe a little bit longer, then something else will come along which will move you up the ladder even further. Mm. But the key to it all is this one. Is to be able to present yourself and to speak calmly and to put your case across in a very professional an effective way yeah. because until you do then it'll just keep rolling yeah. and then the money will go out and the money will come back in and you still won't be able to afford your holiday and you'll be getting all stressed out about it and this intuition is saying look come on you've got you've got the the masculine you've got the feminine come on let's get this all together for you start listening to me please I know where you need to be so that's, what, that's masculine he's he's top dog He's top dog. He's so funny. I've uh, got both of them. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because you can be a softy. You, you, you're also very. Let's put it. Let's put it this way. You're very strong when it comes to supporting other people. But you're also a softy, and I do sometimes pick up that there may well be where people take advantage of you as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah? yeah. So I think we've gone about as far as we can go at this yeah, reading. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. love to see you in a few years' time <laughs> and see where we've gone. Yeah, no. But are you happy with that? Yeah, so uh, so I, I, I went completely. No, it's but fine. No, it's fine. Well, it's, 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 I think some things maybe things are trying to prompt you both ways. Maybe it's like, I felt maybe it was trying and, to get and, into it. And, for, and, and I try, I try, I try to. No, it's fine. I, 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 I mean, my, my thing, because I'm uh, trying to keep a balance, I try, I try not to give too much, but I felt, after a while I felt 
I tried to give it. I tried to give it some time, and then after not, well, if, it, at the end of the, at yeah. the end of the day, yeah. I'm here to do a job, and in 95% of the cases, I rubber stamp most of the questions that are answered, be, be, yeah. and it it, be, it it goes like that. Yeah. There are other times when I get people in front of me like you who are a challenge, and and it doesn't always at this precise moment in time give you the answers perhaps you thought you should be getting but when you play the CD back in a couple of weeks time may, maybe you will see it in a different light and I mean that that card in itself you've indicated to me could represent several issues but the only one that I've picked up on is your mom which you say she's okay but I but if there are other people around you, that's what that card is there for. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. We know that your finances are up the creek at the moment, that's why we're in, you know, without a paddle. But we know that you'll always have food on your table, but you do have to watch it. So we, we know that's why that card's there. We know this one is for the intuitions and for listening to that little voice in your head that says, yeah. you know, why don't you think about doing this, that and the other? Yeah. Right? And, and do listen to it. It's up to you at the end of the day whether you take the advice or not. Okay. And if we come back, this really is your key card. Because although I said, do you put brain into gear before opening mouth? And you said, well, I do now. You know. <laughs> so, but it still brought us back to this one with the way you want to proceed and progress in your life is the way you present yourself and with all due respect, how you speak. Because you do speak extremely fast. And consequently, it just needs to slow down a little. And I think you will find then that the world will become your oyster. When is to slow down? I mean, you speak to me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, with, with all due respect, you, 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 you Scots do speak extremely quickly. Especially when um, in Glasgow. Um, in Glasgow, um, they speak they speak really fast there. Yeah. So it's. Um, it depends where they are. I mean, I went to the other country, but um, we've got they definitely, we've definitely it, I mean, it's it's yeah. like with, with a, trying uh, when we've uh, when we've thought about going to Ireland. My husband says I won't be able to do a regression because they will talk so fast I won't be able to understand them. Yeah. So you have to understand that yeah. it is the way we communicate with each other. We are all in the universe as one, but but the dialects and the various. Yeah tongues that we have can be quite difficult to, to understand. Yeah. I'm alright with you, yeah. but other people may not be. And I don't, please don't take that the wrong way and I'm not no, wishing no, to no, cause no, offence, no. but just to slow down a little and people then would be able to say, yeah, he's got potential, let's, let's, let's give him a second chance in a, a, another interview and still go even, even better. It, it is the way how you, how you speak and how you present yourself is the key to it all. And it brings us back to that crowd there. Is what we see is what we get. Yeah. Okay. Anubis is works in in tangent with Scarab. I haven't I haven't played on him because he he's he's come out because he's the gatekeeper to right. the ghostly spiritual side, which we briefly touched on upon. Right. And I'm I'm not picking anybody who's passed over at this moment in time who is connecting to you but there is spiritual activity around you in the sense of you know when you get that sensation that somebody's there or you or you you felt that you know there's somebody around you or that intuition when it comes when you see the sign that as you said and you interpret it and then you find that that helps you they're moving in mysterious ways so that's where he comes in Okay. All right. So, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> it's okay. Have you got it now while we download this? <laughs> <laughs>